Okay, so ice cream in a sorbet selection. There's a few key things here. You can do it, uh, obviously, just to put scoops on with no precision, no nothing, just to put it on, and then you've achieved it. What we try to do here is a little bit more than that. So the key to do this is to make sure that you have bowls inside the freezer, the desired um, ice creams and sorbets that the guest wants, uh, normally goes by the scoops. You scoop them all, leave them on top of the ice cream so they stay where they are. Then once you have made all your three scoops, you then pick up the first one to make sure that you get a nice perfectly shape. Not too hot water, you bring up your super cold bowl and then you strategically place them on the side. The bowl, as it is frozen, it will not fall away, it will stay where it is. And that's the key for this presentation. So on this one, we're gonna uh, mix the colors up. So you do the raspberry first, on this occasion. And we've done the mango. We wanna make sure we do not serve all of those bits and pieces. Put that right there. And then we move on into the other. And we do the same thing that we put that on top. If all goes well, the bowl is cold and it sits there. Then you put the garnish on. At the moment, we're using the same um, twill we have for the cheesecake. We put that on and we put a layer above ice cream on top of that. So that is your bowl and it sits on the side, the guest gets it and hopefully they will see that we've done a little bit more than just put it on and sent it. Obviously for room service slightly different but the key is do your three bowls or two bowls whatever the guest wants and then play with it in an ice cream and let the ice cold bowl. So you've got to keep the bowls in. If you bring the bowl out too early it doesn't hold. Okay so this one here you can see the bowl holds it. Okay. Thank you very much.